hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so excited to be back so today i'm just gonna jump right in it and talk to you guys a little bit about nerd neck because i had one of my subscribers reach out to me on tiktok and leave a comment in the comment section on one of my tiktok videos and i was like you know what that's a good idea let me start back uploading on my youtube channel i didn't forget about you guys i just felt like i was burnt out on talking about the same thing over and over again so he gave me a topic to talk on and i promised him that i was going to come online and post a video about the topic at hand so nerd neck is kind of like when your neck is kind of like drooping down maybe you're tall and lanky i'm not sure and it really doesn't have to do with height but just nerd neck can come from working at a computer all day and you're kind of like slouched over or playing a video game all day and you're kind of like hunched over and your neck is kind of like growing in that form because you do it so much um kind of like mewing when you um continue a habit over time over and over again it kind of becomes normal to you and it just kind of like naturally happens you know so one way to correct nerd neck is to by consciously fixing your posture like whenever you think about it and i know it can be a challenge because you're so used to doing your everyday routine just like kind of like slouching over i'm not sure you didn't go into depth about why you had it or how it occurred but i'm just thinking that's most times when I see people with it, I just assume like, okay, this person is a slouch. And that's not a good or bad. Like, I'm not going to say it's, in, I'm not saying it in a negative way, but I can just tell that you are just kind of like a slouch, you know, like just in your energy. So you want to start by correcting your posture, standing up straight. Um, If you need help doing that, if you don't know, because even me sometimes, I still stand with my back against the wall in my bathroom or just anywhere where it's a wall i could be outside but mostly in my bathroom because i spend a lot of time in my bathroom and there's a mirror in there so you can get a mirror get a wall and put it uh in an area where you can see the mirror that's why i like to use the bathroom because it's so convenient and just stand up against the wall put your shoulders on the wall and put the back of your head on the wall put your butt on the wall and the back of your legs on the wall so you want to practice standing in that position if that position is uncomfortable for you and if you have a nerd neck it probably is because you're not used to doing it you have to practice doing that stance on a consistent basis so that your neck can um readjust itself like it has to get real reacclimated to how your new posture is so that's something you should do you should practice standing straight a lot and if you are unable to stand with straight posture you need to look up videos outside of mewing to figure out but i feel like it all goes hand in hand because posture has a lot to do with mewing you also wanted me to show you a side profile of my face. I'm not sure if you can. I'm going to give you both angles. And I want to say this. I have a hat on. So you really can't. I mean, you can. You really want to look at the lower half of my face. So that's what matters. so yeah i hope this answers all of your questions that you had um like comment and subscribe make sure to leave comments down in the comment section below i'm just gonna go um over what i said in the video practice standing straight um you can do neck exercises there's also videos on my channel where i talk about um neck extensions and you can also do back extensions because it's all connected um you lay on the floor that's another idea you can lay on your back on a hardwood floor or a cement floor and that will help you with your posture like not in a bed if you can try to sleep on the floor people that sleep on the floor they have 
great posture i tried sleeping on the floor i couldn't do it it's not for everybody but if you can sleep on the floor preferably a hardwood floor or cement floor and just put you like a pallet down that would be amazing for your neck and just your overall health in general and a lot of this stuff it ties in with health like when you can fix your posture or your neck or your mewing position all of these things like that they tie in and they work together so um laying on the hard floor like hard surfaces um stretching doing exercises like specifically neck and back exercises like neck um a lot of times okay like for instance you can take your neck and turn it as far left as you possibly can you can take your neck and turn it as far right as you possibly can as you possibly can Take your arms, touch the floor, touch your feet, touch the, as far as you can go. And do it on a consistent basis, whether that's every night before you go to bed or every morning when you wake up or whenever you have the time to do it, you should implement that into your daily routine because it will help your posture and it will help you get into the um, movement of just working out in you know, moving your muscles like they need to be moved because as you get older... You kind of get comfortable. You kind of, you're not as active as you were as a younger person. So you want to maintain your health. You need to start stretching more. Uh, whether that's going or you need to walk around your neighborhood, just doing things to keep you active. And I know I'm kind of like all over the place, but trust me, it works. Like it may sound like it's far-fetched or it has nothing to do with nerd neck, but it actually does, literally. So that's going to be all for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.